G'day everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Will Kitching and this is part two of my series teaching you how to get started with lure fishing. Last video we talked about the gear you'll need, the rod and reel, but today we're talking about the best lures uh, to get started with uh, as beginners. So what I'll do is I'll keep this one short and sweet and the next video, the last video, I'll talk about the techniques and how to actually go out and use these lures. So to see that video, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to see part one to the series, if you haven't seen that already, I'll leave a link in the description for that too. Anyway, let's get started into this video. Now, there's many lures out there on the market, but today we'll keep it simple and we'll just look at five that you can start using to get you onto some fish. So lure number one, soft plastics. Soft plastics are great to start out on as a beginner uh, because they're simple to use and they're quite cheap. As you can see, you get a fair few in a packet, but they're also very effective. Now, there's a lot of different types of soft plastics, but I'd say if you're starting out, ones like this one here, with that, what they call a paddle tail, are, um, are pretty perfect. So that's meant to look like a little fish, and as that goes through the water, that tail's gonna swim like a fish's tail. If you pick some of these up in around a two, two and a half or three inch size, that'll be perfect for your brim, flathead, uh, even snapper, and your reef fish, things like that. Trevally, mangrove jack. So they're very versatile and a lot of fish love them. So yeah, anything that eats little bait fish is gonna love these. Another popular one these days is uh, the prawn imitation or shrimp. So yeah, as you can see, the tail flicks nicely there and looks just like a little shrimp. Or you can also get these ones that are already rigged up for you when you buy them. Um, once again, imitating a prawn. So yeah, they're also very popular. Now, as you can see, with your soft plastics, you have to buy the plastics themselves, but you also have to buy what they call jig heads, which is uh, this little bit of lead and, and the hook, really. So they come in, uh, you know, packets themselves. You can see there's a couple of different types, and you, you buy those separately. And uh, the soft plastic goes onto that. That's the, the weight for it and the hook. And it ends up being rigged up like that. Hopefully you can see that well. Once again, there are many brands out there and types of soft plastics, but uh, the Z-Mans, which you can get at well, pretty much anywhere, are pretty good. They're so tough. A lot of soft plastics can uh, break easily, but these are extremely tough. Fish won't really bite them in half, and they have uh, some good colors and everything like that. So yeah, the about two and a half inch or three inch are perfect. All right, so pushing those aside and moving on, lure number two that we're gonna be talking about is uh, hard bodies, or some people call them divers or crankbaits even. So that is what I'm talking about there. That is hard plastic, and uh, they have this bib on the front. So what that does is, as you uh, wind the lure in, that makes it dive down in the water. And uh, at the same time, it'll be swimming just like a fish. Now, as I said, this, uh, this bib on the front of the lure is what makes it dive down. And some will have larger bibs than others. As you can see with these two here, uh, they only have very small bibs, so they're gonna go just under the surface of the water. Usually when you buy them, they'll actually tell you on the packet how deep they'll dive to. So usually it's around, you know, two or three meters. But it's good to have a range of depths that you can uh, have on the day. So if you're fishing in shallower water, you can tie on a shallower one, or deeper water, you can tie on a deeper diving lure. All right, the third lure, and probably a very underestimated one, or, or underrated one, is the chrome slug. They're also called uh, metals or slices sometimes. Um, but yeah, the old chrome slug, very good lure. Now, these things are 
extremely simple lures to use. You're just going to cast it as far as you can, let it sink a little bit, and then wind it back in pretty much as fast as you can. They're made for those uh, fish like mackerel, tailor, tuna, trevally, things like that that love speed. And uh, when they see this going through the water, you know, it's going to trigger a bite from them. They're going to come and smash it. If you ever see fish busting up on the surface and splashing, feeding on bait, this is the type of lure to throw in there. And there's all different sizes. There's ones from right down um, the small end of the scale up to, you know, bigger ones that you could catch Spanish mackerel and stuff on. So, yeah. These are also good lures for fishing off the rocks and in the wash and things like that, or in the surf even. All right, type of lure number four is surface lures. Now this is a very, very fun way to fish. Um, it's best around uh, sunset or sunrise uh, in low light conditions because that's when fish are most likely going to feed on the surface and they feel safe too. When it's bright and sunny, sometimes they can get a little bit timid. There's two different types. There's poppers, which have that cup face there and what they call stick baits which as you can see just a long slim uh, shape so as I said poppers are cup faced and as you bring them through the water they uh, they splash out a little bit of water in front of them and look like a fleeing bait fish or um, with these smaller ones here even like a fleeing prawn Whereas the stick baits, they sort of uh, glide side to side and look like a, uh, a wounded bait fish or prawn. You can also skip them sort of straight across the surface as well. Now with these, uh, these smaller little lures, you can see they have what we call a cyst hooks on the back. Same as the popper. That's because fish like whiting and brim have quite small mouths which can be hard for these treble hooks to penetrate sometimes so usually if you have these assist hooks on and they slope it down they uh, they pin the whiting and brim pretty easily as well as that they just look like little prawn legs so it, uh, it adds to the look of the lure alrighty finally lure number five the last one is what we call vibes uh, vibration baits So you can get these uh, little metal blades they're called or you can get these, I'll take it out of the packet. So you can also get these. These are what we call soft vibes. So once again they just vibrate as you hop them but instead of being hard they're a bit softer, a little bit more natural when a fish grabs it and feels it. So uh, yeah they're very good too. And you can even get them to look like a, uh, a little prawn or shrimp. Now the idea of vibes is to let them sink to the bottom and just hop them up with slow hops and as you do they're going to vibrate up off the bottom. Then you let it sink down again and continue. Fish have a thing called lateral lines down the side of their body and it's so that they can feel vibrations in the water. A lot of the time before fish even see what they're going to be eating they feel it through their lateral lines vibrating in the water. So that is why vibes work so well. The bonus of these is they're nice and heavy so you can fish them in deeper water but you can also cast them around in shallower water and they work fine as well. Alrighty guys I know there's a lot of lures on the market so I hope this video has helped uh, you know put a few in front of your face that can help you catch fish as a beginner and that are quite easy to use. Stay tuned for that next video where I do teach you how to use all these lures and the techniques you need to know to catch your first few fish or get better at lure fishing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.